All right, everybody, this is Stitch here. We are back again. We just got our case of the Ghost from the Past. As you know, each each little box, each little mini box contains three booster packs, and each booster pack contains five cards apiece. So we got ourselves uh, what they classify as a case, which is supposed to be five boxes of three packs. So we have 15 packages to go through in order to hopefully come across a Ghost Rare. Normally, I do not invest in these mini boxes. I'm not as big of a fan. You know, when it comes to some costs, I find it better to buy them in the singles. But in cases like this, the nostalgia was real. It wasn't just Ghosts from the Past. I actually ordered more from uh, from all of the different sets that are coming up, including the Obelisa Tormentor and the Slife of the Sky Dragon uh, structure decks. Those should be here somewhere around May 15th to May 20th is what the internet said. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to break into these Ghosts from the Past mini boxes. Let's go ahead and get this package open. Okay, let's go around and let's get to the other side. As you all can see, Ghosts from the Past. Bring it behind the camera. We're going to aim it down so we can see what we got. Sorry, you guys. I don't have the proper equipment to do this just yet, so... Bear with me, all right? But everybody, look at this. All right, so we got this. Let's go ahead and let's try to tear it open. Hold on. Ah, there we go. I just had to get it started, so I'm not shaking the camera around trying to do this. So just, it's just a little bit more. Okay. Let us see. All right, you guys. It's been a long time since we've actually had the money to invest in something like this. So let us go ahead and we open up the main flap. Look at that. We got five of them. So we have a total of three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. We have fifteen chances to pull ghost rares. Now I've never opened up one of these packages before, so hopefully we do not damage at least one of them. But let us figure out, see if we can get this open. I like it that they made the even the case holographic. It's really freaking cool. Alright, let's go ahead and let's get this open. Shoutouts to Konami. I really like the new the new supports that we got. And we've got the new booster sets. We've got even uh, the structure decks, which I think are going to be pretty cool. But let's go ahead and let's get in this ghost from the past. Alright, let's see here. Ah, oh, they, oh, they put that tape on it. We're going to have to ruin this box. Okay, well, not necessarily. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, look at that. All right, everybody. So, we have got... We have got BLS. We've got bleh, the new Firewall Dragon. And, of course, we have the ever-faithful Dark Magician. So, let's go ahead and let's get... Let's go ahead and open up the Dark Magician pack first. I love Dark Magician and Blue Eyes White Dragon. Absolutely some of my favorites. Alright, everybody. Let's see what we got here. Alright, first off, we got Madolce Pudding Sess. Look how pretty that artwork is. We don't have a Madolce deck just yet. I think we have enough to make one. We might go ahead and try and see if we got any profiles online for one. We got Time Thief Winder. That's pretty cool because we do have the uh, Time Thief for Doer. Oh, check out that Dragoonity Phalanx. Phal Phalanx? Yeah, Phalanx, I think. We got a Mask Change. Okay, check that out. That looks pretty cool. And we got Laval Archer in this pack. Okay. The artwork on these Lavals just looks so cool. I love the fiery background, especially mixed with the hollow. Let us go ahead and we are going to open up the Firewall Dragon. Let's see, so nothing in that one, but it's okay. So we'll try not to make this video go too long. But let's go ahead and open this up. Alright, what do we got? Alright, so we got Sunseed Twin. Oh, those are adorable. We got Sun Avalon Bloom. Definitely going to be great for those new uh, Sun Avalon cards that are coming out. Ooh, Heretic Seal of Reflection. Okay, that's nice. 
I love that. That is real pretty artwork. We got Resonator Engine. This is actually a reprint, if you guys remember, back in the Scarlet, uh, well, the Red Dragon slash Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend days. Let us go ahead. Oh, we have Necros of Arid Bear. I don't see that's what it is. That is a beautiful card. Really like that one. 3,300 attack and 3,200 defense. That is disgusting for a ritual. Especially because, like, you have the Megaliths and you have the other ritual support cards. And then you have the new ritual summoning mechanic where you can actually dump cards to the graveyard and just ritual summon without a ritual summon card. I think that's pretty cool. The Necras were always cool. They really didn't go too many places, though. But it'd be really nice to see more support of the Necros. All right, last one. Let us see. All right, this is the last one of this box. Come on. I really hate to tear these packages, but they do not open the way that they used to. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and let's swing on in. All right, we have Convocation. Okay, that's a pretty good card. We got another Madolce card, Peating Sword. I'm going to assume that's how it goes. Cosmojo. <laughs> reminds me of... <laughs> reminds me of Star Wars. <laughs> Alright, we got Metal Foes Stealing. If I'm not mistaken, this is a reprint as well. I actually think I have a, a, a common. Alright, and we got the Starry Night Sky. This is that field spell. During the main phase, you can normal summon one Starry Night Monster or one level 7 Light Dragon Monster. That's pretty cool. I really do like the holographic background. But let's go ahead and let's open up another one. We're gonna just try to and try to go through this, see what, see how well we can do, and get all of this ready to go. Yeah. So, guys, as you know, this is all unedited. This is all raw, especially because then you get the real. You guys get my real reactions. At least I didn't make the tape too tight on this. So you don't really destroy the box too much trying to open it. But let's go ahead and let's get this little guy open. See, I love how beautiful the box opens up. I mean, just look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Kudos to Konami. They really did well on these. Let us go ahead. Oh, my pack didn't want to come out. Alrighty, everybody. So we have another... BLS Dark Magician and Firewall. Alrighty, everybody, let's see. I haven't seen a Blue Eyes. I haven't seen a Blue Eyes pack yet. But let us see what we got in this one. Ah, oh, sweet! We got another Redoer. This is a pretty awesome card, especially its effect. Once per turn during the standby phase, you can attach a top card of your opponent's deck to this card as material. That is just disgusting. You can steal cards off the top of your opponent's deck. Danger, Thunderbird. Oh, okay, so we have some new Danger cards out as well. Okay, that is awesome. I like that. A Metal Foes Counter. Pretty cool artwork on that. Miracle Synchro Fusion. If I'm not mistaken, this is a reprint as well. Yeah, Fusion Summon 1 Fusion Monster from your extra deck. The list of secret monsters material by banishing. <gasps> oh, check out that beautiful arm dragon level 10. Oh my gosh, that AD is so beautiful. Now, mind you, I don't know what any of these cards are worth in this pack. I just love the artwork, especially on the arm dragons. I love the arm dragon reprints. Let us go ahead and let's dump into bump into the Dark Magician. See what we got here. All right, everybody. So I mean, we got some pretty good pulls so far. Not bad for what we spent. Laval Volcano Hand Maiden. Or Volcano. I'm sorry. Fairy Tale Tales. Ooh, that's a pretty looking card. <laughs> that's odd. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, okay, okay. I remember the fairy tale cards. Okay. Starry Night Blast. Ooh, check that out. That is pretty. Oh, we got Dragon King of, of Atum or Atum. 
This is awesome. Definitely would be nice for the Dragoonity deck. And then we have Starry Knight, Starry Dragon. Wow, that thing is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that. Oh, man. Okay, so yes, yeah, so we got some pretty cool pulls so far. We're only the second box in. And I'm pretty sure that the, that the AD, that the AD level 10, I'm pretty sure that he's worth at least a couple of dollars right now. Although you can correct me. Royal Prison. Okay. I like how they made the, I like how they made the knight's armor shiny like that. And then change his color. That is so cool. Neither player could special summon monsters from the graveyard. This is going to be disgusting. I'll be able to use this against my wife and her dolls. That is pretty cool. Okay, so we got a reprint of Backup Secretary. She's still such a pretty card. Absolutely love how beautiful they made the secretary. Metal Foes Gold Driver. Okay, cool. Cool. So, so far we don't have any reprints. I mean, uh, not some reprints, uh, any duplicates. Time Thief Flyback. Okay, that's pretty cool. <gasps> we got Nisha Doll Genius. Oh, the wife is going to absolutely love this one. Its flip effect is you can target Nisha Doll monster you control. That face up monster is unaffected by other monster effects this turn except its own. That is pretty awesome. Okay, so at least we got a card for my wife. Especially the money that I had spent on the upcoming Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I do owe my wife a little bit of a gift. I know she still loves me, though. Let us get this one open. Come on. Come on. I got these open. Come on. All right. Let us go ahead and we'll get this little... See, I don't know how people destroy these boxes. All you got to do is just be gentle. The only thing that you can do is maybe mark it if you have a fingernail. But let us go ahead and let's pull into this. Okay, that's cool. We got the two BLS, and then we have the one Firewall Dragon. Okay, the BLS seems to be getting us some pretty good cards. So let us go ahead and open this one. Mind you, we've already preserved a couple of the other packages, so. All right, we got Madolchi Chateau. Oh, that's such an adorable little card. And look at all the food in the background. Of course, Madolchi is food-based. Salaman Great Falco. Look at that reprint on there. That is so pretty. Absolutely love that. All right, we got a Metal Foes Fusion. We have quite a few Metal Foes cards, especially in our Pendulum deck. We might be able to do a little more with the Metal Foes. <gasps> we got Dragon Knight Draco Equist. That is a pretty reprint. It's actually funny. I just pulled one of these. I think it was out of the Eternity Code. Yeah, it was from my Eternity Code box. Was it? All right. Oh, you guys, we got an evenly matched. Oh, man, for those of you who haven't seen the artwork on that, that is pretty cool. Absolutely excited about that. Okay, this evenly matched was definitely worth it. Okay, that is awesome. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and let's pull in. Let's go ahead and pull the next BLS pack. Let's see what we got here. Gotta be careful. Alright, what do we got? We got another Resonator Engine. Okay, now we're starting to get some duplicates. Heretic Seal of Convocation. Okay. Madolchi Petting Sewer. Another Cosmoj. Okay, so it seems like it's just gonna be duplicates here. Yeah, and Laval Archer. Okay, you guys, nothing fancy out of that one. Okay, I'm kind of disappointed on that. I was at first a little excited, but it's okay. All right, let us go ahead and let's pop these. Time Thief Startup. Okay, so we have another new card that we don't have yet. Another Sunseed Twin. Okay, not bad. Another Synavalon Bloom. Another Reflection. And, oh, excuse me, another Arid Bear. Arid Bear. I'm not going to finish trying to pronounce that name. But we got another one of those. Still, that's a beautiful card. All right, you guys. So we have got... There are three down. Let us go ahead and open up another one. Let us see. And just see, to be honest with you guys, 
I used to not have anywhere near enough money to even just pick up one of these types of things. Let alone the chances of pulling anything fancy and special or something rare and expensive. I, I couldn't justify spending the money. But now that I got this new job, I got things in order. I can afford some little stuff here and there like this. So let's go ahead and open this beauty up. Alright, we got another Dark Magician. BLS. Okay, we have two Dark Magicians here. Hopefully we get something good out of the Dark Magician. Let us see here. Oh, check out that Sayaru. Oh, man, that is pretty. We're going to go ahead and go through sometime this week, a little bit of sidetracking. Sometime this weekend, uh, I'm going to go through my binder, and I'm going to go ahead and make a little video of some of the old shinies that I have. I got some that are probably worth a few dollars now, but I have the original version of this one. Okay, we got another Metal Foes, but we got a new one here. Bisma Gear. Ooh, we got Artifact Durandal. That's cool. It's like a giant sword. Oh, that is so cool. I like that. Okay, we got Evil Thorn. All right. Trip this card and flick 300 damage to your opponent. And if you do, you can special summon up to two Evil Thorns. But we don't have any Evil Thorns. Oh, we got Dragoonity Armagram. Oh, look at that artwork. Absolutely a beautiful card. I like that. That is pretty. All right, so we got a couple of decent cards. Especially, uh, we went ahead and back in the day, we bought two Dragoonity Structure decks. So we might actually be able to use some of these Dragoonities and go ahead and rebuild that Structure deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we got Resonator Call. Okay, ooh, that's a cool-looking reprint. Absolutely love that. We can put that in our Synchro deck. Salamangre Fowl. Okay, okay, so we got, a, we got some more new cards. Check out the artwork on that. Real pretty. Terror of Trishula. Okay. Apply these effects in sequence. Spending the number of Ice Barrier Synchro Monsters you control. Okay, so I don't have an Ice Barrier deck. I do have quite a few Ice Barrier cards, though. We got Metal Foes Volflame. Okay, that's a pretty cool-looking machine. I like that. All right. Ooh, check out the artwork on that Flamel. Starry Night Flamel, that is beautiful. Wow. Just look at that. Okay, we got some pretty cool looking cards so far. Let's go ahead and let's let's open up another Dark Magician pack here. Oh, this one opened pretty nicely. We're gonna go ahead and keep this pack. Alright, let us see. We got a recover. Alright, that's pretty cool. Molten Conduction Field, all right. We got some new cards, cards we didn't have before. We got a Fairy Tale card, Rochka or Roshka. Oh, we got a Sunvine Healer. Okay, that's cool. It's a Link 1, only 600. One Plant Normal Monster. There aren't a whole lot of those, so hopefully they hopefully they gave us some more, uh, some more of those. All right, we got a Link 3 Plant. <gasps> Ooh, we got the Cinevalon Dryanome. And for those of you who don't know, there is a card. Gosh, I forget the freaking name of it. But this is pretty much that tree, but fully bloomed. There's actually a lore that I think it was, I think it was Crush Cards. I think Crush Cards has had covered a lore like this. Or, um, no, I might be remembering the wrong Yugi Tuber. But anyways, look at how beautiful that card is. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, everybody, so that was box number four. All right, here's box number five, last box. And then we don't have any more ghosts from the past coming in. But you guys, at the end of this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I also have an Instagram. My Instagram is Stitch of Games. You guys can go ahead and follow me on there. I do, I do random bulk giveaways. And each bulk is guaranteed at least one hollow. I do it for people who like and comment on, you know, just go ahead and let me know. Similar to the other Yugi tubers, not trying to rip anybody off, but you know, let me know what you guys like most about Ghosts from the Past and what you guys are excited for in the upcoming in the upcoming packages that are coming.
Well, I just repeated myself. I'm sorry. I forget that part. But anyways, but yeah. So, you guys just said, like, comment, subscribe. And again, follow me on Instagram. And we will go ahead and we will give some lucky people some of these cards. We'll just be giving them away to random people. All right, everybody. We have two more Dark Magicians and BLS. So, let's go ahead and let's open up one of the Dark Magicians. We didn't get any with Blue Eyes White Dragon. Do they have... I don't remember. Do they have any with Blue Eyes on them? I'm not entirely sure. All right, everybody. So, there's nothing fancy about this last card on the back. Nothing special. So, we probably don't have a ghost store. But you know what? We still got some cool-looking cards. Got another Stealing. We got another Pudding Cess. We got another Time Thief Winder or Winder. Another Dragoonity Phalanx. And we got another Starry Night Starry Dragon. Still absolutely a beautiful card. Let's go ahead and go into the next one. Let's see what we got here. Alright, everybody. Okay, we got another Mask Change. Alright, that's not too bad. Another Royal Prison. That'll be awesome, especially, you know, side it when you're going against... Uh, cards is special from the graveyard. Got backup secretary, another metal foes gold driver, and we got dragoonity whirlwind. Okay, that's a pretty cool looking card. Sadly, I was the last one in this in this one in this little pack right here. If your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon one dragoonity tuner, one wing. Oh man, okay, okay, I like that. I like that. We are definitely gonna go ahead and rebuild our dragoonity deck. All right, you guys, last one, last one. It's okay, though. It's not a big deal. Again, I have heard that these things are, like, ridiculously hard to get. And we just weren't one of those lucky people, but it's all right. We got Time Thief Flyback. Okay, that's pretty cool. There's Time Thief for Doer, Rescuing a Young Maiden. We got Laval Volcano Hand Maiden. We got another Fairy Tale Tales. Another Starry Night Blast, and... <gasps> Ooh, check that out. I don't know what it's worth, but oh, man. It's not a Ghost Rare, but the Shooting Star Dragon TGEX. I think we only have, like, two or three TG cards. Yeah, this one, we got to have a non-tuner Synchro Monster. Okay, that's going to be difficult to get out. But that is still a pretty cool-looking card as it is. All right, everybody. Well, that was it for our five boxes of ghosts from the past. Thankfully, we were able to save the boxes. And when I when I announced the winners on my Instagram of the random cards from ghosts from the past, I'm going to go ahead and two of the lucky winners will go ahead and get one of these ghosts from the past display boxes. But you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead again, like, comment, subscribe. I will be investing in some new camera equipment so that I can make better videos. But for now, just bear with me, especially because my channel is pretty new. We're still working on some things. All right, everybody. That will be it for this video.